Okay. Holy shit. Yeah, I came this far. I wonder if I go back. What will happen? Just now I ran through here. I already ran through here, right? Hmm. Never mind, just continue. Let me just continue towards the blue light. I wonder if this is the world tree, Idrisil. Maybe not. Too small for a world tree. <laughs> Nothing here, okay. Alright. It's really beautiful the graphics. Seriously. Maybe I need to go here. As Sigmund and Sinfjotli are being buried alive, Sigmund's sister throws an armful of straw into the grave mound. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's sword, the gift of Odin. They cut their way out of the grave mound and set fire to Sigir's hall. The king burns to death. Sigmund calls to his sister to come out so that she may live and be honored. She does come out but only to tell him the truth. That she had slept with him, her brother, to beget a strong avenger. I am not fit to live, she says, and walks back into the fire. Strike vengeance from your heart, Senua, as there is always a heavy price to pay. Okay, okay. Oh, I think I can jump. I think I will be jumping up, jumping down here when I reach the top. Because that looks like a ledge for me to jump down. Shit, what, what is this place, seriously? It feels like there's something. something about this. Something it looks like something that I can activate. Holy shit. Look at the view. It's really beautiful. And here is the end of Sigmund's story. He was a fierce and great warrior who fought many battles. But one day. An old man came onto the battlefield. Although shadowed by a hood, Sigmund saw that he only had one eye. The man raised his spear, and Sigmund struck at it with his sword, but the sword shattered into pieces. Sigmund then knew that this was Odin, and thus that victory could not be his. He bowed his head and accepted his end. Dying, he tells his wife that she is with child, and that her son will one day make a great weapon out of the fragments of his sword. The sword named Gram. Gram. I have no idea what is that. I didn't heard any story about this sword. Yet. <laughs> because I... Because... The stories about Vikings. I know I know I know which which are the gods of 
apply uh which is the gods which are the gods of uh Norse mythology but legendary weapon I got <laughs> zero clues. I only know Thor's hammer, Mjolnir and then Odin Odin's spear which I forgot what is the name. I think it's his staff or spear. Maybe it's a spear. I really forgot. Really forgot what it is. Is something that I need to activate. There it is. Focus. Focus. The shot. Focus. Focus. Use your eyes. Look. Get closer. A king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn. And it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword, Tyrving. I don't recognize this blade. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? It's so strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary, inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death because we have no answer for it. But when it comes and forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. Okay. So I knew there is something like on that way. Because this path seems like too obvious. And there's like a something there 
on the left side so I just go there Where? Where is this place seriously? Couldn't go It's really really beautiful Man the graphics Is there anything here? No Okay This seriously look like a house for hobbits There are like two roads. I'll find him. <gasps> What's that? <gasps> Did you hear that? Nothing. What's that voices? Shit, man, they are like. Hey, please shut up. There he is. There he is. Dilly, there he is. Finally. You found him. What's wrong? What happened? Can you hear me? Just wait there. I'll find you. Holy shit, the voice, the voices, the voices in her head. So this is a dead end, and I couldn't run. God damn it. Holy shit, it's really dark here. The voices, voices, it's like the voices is, is in my head. That I take just Find now. Another way. It's not working. You have to use your mind. Where can you go? You're failing. Find another Think. way. Think. 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 Focus. Hey, shut up, man. I can hear him. <gasps> Herver disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. Shit man, there are so many roads here. So many ways to go. Fuck, I seriously don't want to miss anything. I couldn't light this up. Within the burial mound, Herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mounds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. 
It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. <laughs> yeah, the reason that I that I walk back is the voices, is the narrator voice. Is getting is is getting small, so I have to like turn back. Fuck, man! Which road is the correct one? I couldn't run. That is the. That is seriously annoying, I couldn't run at all. I can only walk. Yeah, I'm going backwards. Again. Holy shit, this place is a maze and I have to like do... I think I got... Four more, four, four more you don't challenge. Don't doubt yourself, you'll never find it. She doesn't recognize it. Yes, you do, you know. She doesn't. Listen for his voice, listen, Dillion. I think I got four more challenge, challenges. Voice, if every challenge just is like this, shit, man. <laughs> This different. No, this is blue. Maybe it's right. It's right here. The voices is getting huge. What the fuck, man? And where is this? I think I need to go to the other side. I seriously don't want to miss anything. Shit, man. I thought I lighted this fire. Guys, hear that? Fuck, man. I feel like I'm going in a circle. That voice doesn't sound like Dillion. What's happening? It's not him, it can't be. Hervor ignores her father's warnings. The grave mound opens, and it seems to be full of fire. Again, Hervor demands her inheritance, but her father warns her that the sword is cursed and would be the bane of her family. But he relents and brings her the sword. She leaves the island with it, but the curse holds true, and death would follow in the years to come. And so, Senua, the misdeeds of a father have cursed his daughter. <gasps> Shit, man, I really don't know where I'm going right now. I just hope I didn't miss any story pillar. Light the torch, light it. I already light it, you asshole. It'll help you see. I have already lighted it. <laughs> Where are we? 
She has no idea. We're going round and <laughs> You have fallen in. You think that sound is Dillian's voice? It's a trap. <laughs> you walked right into their hands. They have you right where they want you. Uh, how could you? <laughs> <laughs> you think that voice is Dillian's? It's not. It's beckoning you to your death. <gasps> oh, shit. What the fuck, man? Sound is getting <gasps> Yeah, now I'm back here. This is like coming f coming from the right side, so maybe. What the F is happening? Feel like I'm trapped in a in an endless loop. If only we could see life through each other's eyes, there would be no hatred. When we only hate what we fear, we only fear what we cannot see. Your father, and I will keep on trying, but his gods will not let him avert his gaze. But if he could... He would know not to turn his anger on us. Okay, I didn't saw that face just now. Because I was lighting the fire and then... 
shit. lighting the fire and then suddenly my controller vibrates Darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy. The chief had some. No. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come. Send one. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Holy shit, did I got the... They got a shot. Alright guys, I think I will stop this video right here because there are like four more challenges or something. And this video is already quite long. So yeah, really thank you guys for watching and uh, if you can please do subscribe to my channel for more videos and please give uh, this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my video and <laughs> yeah, maybe share it also. Yeah, re uh, that's it. Really thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.